the United States is tearing itself apart. There is no other way to put it. Today, Donald Trump was found guilty of 34 felony counts in the Stormy Daniels case. I'm not going to get into the details of this sordid affair, but it is obvious to anyone with an ounce of reason that the allegations against Trump are political in nature. No former US president has ever been charged in a court of law, although there is plenty of evidence to suggest that some of them have committed far worse crimes than falsifying business records. The implications are even worse, once you consider that Trump is also the leading candidate for presidency on behalf of the Republican Party in the elections that will take place in just a few months. This is tantamount to political persecution, which is the hallmark of a dictatorship. It doesn't matter whether you support Donald Trump or not. The events which are unfolding should be very concerning either way. Personally, I do not support Donald Trump. As far as I'm concerned, he has already had his chance to reform the United States, and he blew it. One may argue that his presidency was bogged down by fierce resistance from the deep state, that he was falsely accused of being a Russian asset and that the corporate media treated him unfairly. Truth remains that he was unable to deliver on most of his campaign promises. He didn't build a wall on the southern border, and he didn't drain the swamp in Washington, D.C. As a matter of fact, during his presidency, the national debt grew by $8 trillion, and government overreach only became worse. He is just as responsible for the outbreak of inflation as the current president, Joe Biden. In terms of economic policy, you can hardly tell the two apart. I fail to see how another term in the White House will make any difference. Nevertheless, one must oppose such blatant abuse of the legal system. The fact that several court cases against Trump are simultaneously taking place, all of them for minor offenses, and that the prosecutors and judges all seem to be politically biased against him, reeks of corruption. It is clear that what we are seeing here is the weaponization of the law in order to promote a political goal. I recognize that no person should be above the law and that even a former president should be brought to justice if he has indeed committed a crime. However, equal treatment under the law is a foundational principle of democracy, and for some reason only one former president receives this kind of treatment. You would think that the people in charge of the Democratic Party should know better. Perhaps it is time for them to change its name, to the dictatorial party. But even if you don't care about democratic principles, perhaps you do care about your wallet. Ask yourself what it means for the US economy to no longer exist in a law-abiding country. A functioning legal system is a prerequisite for economic prosperity. It is impossible to conduct business in an environment of lawlessness, in which any person can be targeted due to their political views, their assets seized, and their name dragged through the mud. In such a case, corporations don't usually voice their concerns publicly. They simply pack up their bags and leave to a more favorable jurisdiction, and the economy loses the jobs and the investment capital which go along with them. Some of the people in New York City who are currently cheering the conviction of Donald Trump may soon find themselves unemployed and they won't even be able to connect the two together. This also has implications on the national level. As the issuer of the global reserve currency, 
The United States enjoys a strong demand for its treasuries. This has allowed it over the years to spend above and beyond what it collects in taxes and to pay a remarkably low level of interest on that debt. In my opinion, the politicization of the American judiciary is further eroding the trust in the U.S. dollar and the demand for U.S. treasuries. This comes at a time in which the federal government is running record deficits and needs to issue record amounts of debt. The Biden administration may not be aware of that, but their legal campaign against Donald Trump may bring the U.S. to the point of bankruptcy. Naturally, they believe that they can always get the Federal Reserve to print some more dollars and finance these deficits. But since inflation is already running hot, such a move may lead to a currency collapse and hyperinflation. So no matter who you vote for, please don't celebrate the conviction of Donald Trump. This is a sad day, not only for Americans, but for all freedom-loving people. We are watching the United States gradually devolve into tyranny. Until recently, whenever it had a conflict with dictatorships such as Russia or China, it could claim the moral high ground. But from now on, the US is no different from them and cannot assume to be serving a higher purpose. It will soon be viewed around the world as nothing more than an empire, and any goodwill it enjoyed in the past will be lost. Thank you for listening to the Silver Hermit Podcast. If you like this content, please donate in the link which appears in the description below. Please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends and family. Hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I release a new video. Remember, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. This video is intended for general informational purposes only and should not be regarded as investment advice. Before taking any investment decision, please consult with a professional financial advisor who may assess your personal investment objectives and needs.